Hello, my friends, and welcome to Star Trek The Next Generation, Birth of the Federation. And that is a hell of a mouthful. Uh, it's like two subtitles. So, <laughs> uh, I think that's funny. Um, I'm playing this by request of many, many people. Many people have requested I play this. Um, I never played it when it came out because the reviews were very middling. And, uh... It, it was weird to me that a 4X game that was supposed to span the history of Star Trek from the beginnings of the Federation onward only had Next Generation stuff. Like, I guess it's because Activision at the time, or Microprose, I think it was Microprose, uh, only had the license to Next Generation stuff. So that just struck me as a little weird as well. Um, so I've never really played it. Ow. My cat was just on my lap for like a million years. Ah, oh, my legs. Sorry, Murphy. Um, oh. So, uh, if you're not aware, this is a 4X game set in the Star Trek Next Generation universe that came out in the late 90s and lets you play a single or multiplayer game with one of the five big Trek races. Um, so we, I've only, I only played this once before and it was for like an hour on a stream, so I wasn't very familiar with it then. I've read the manual since then and uh, played it a tiny bit to make sure it worked. Now, the version I'm using is running in a window. Um, I found this version online. Um, some would consider this abandonware of this particular version. I actually own a copy of the game, so I'm not too worried about that. But there's a version online that comes with the ability to run it in a window. So I'm running it in a window right now because that gets rid of all the flickering that was happening on the last um, recording of this game. So we're going to play a new single player game. game parameters. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Hang on a second. Not seem that loud earlier. Turn down my headphones a bit. Um, let's turn the music. I just wanted you to hear that a little bit, but we're just going to... Okay. Configure game parameters. So we're gonna leave all this early. We could change. You could change that to developed, advanced, beginning. Uh, we're gonna leave this pretty much the default. We're gonna leave everything at the default. The minor races are neat because they're they're races you'll recognize from the shows, like the um, trill and whatnot. Um, and events. So yeah, we'll just leave all this alone. Select galactic power to control. So as you can see, you uh, choose the Cardassians, the Federation, the Ferengi, the Klingons, or the Romulans. Uh, the last time I played this, I played as the Ferengi. And that was kind of fun. But I'm kind of on a Klingon kick. So I kind of want to play as the Klingons. But part of me is like, you know, Brian, you always do either the Federation, mostly, or the Klingons. But you love the Cardassians. Like, um, Garrick from Deep Space Nine is my favorite Star Trek character. And Dukat, you love to hate Dukat. You, you love to hate Dukat. So part of me wants to play the Cardassians. Oh, I'm going to play the Cardassians. The Cardassian Union. Now, it's interesting. Uh, there are certain game modes where you have multiple um, rivals. And so the Cardassian rivals of the Federation and the Klingons, the Klingon rivals of the Romulans and the Ferengi, uh, no, the Cardassians and the Ferengi, I believe. Uh, so there's a game mode, either in multiplayer or single player, where you can have a, a rivalry. So already from the outset, you already have an empire or two that doesn't really like you, and we'll see that hopefully in action. But yeah, I think I'm going to do the Cardassians. Control is the only thing that matters. Methods are not important. Efficiency is what counts in the end. Exploit what you conquer. For in the struggle for survival, every resource is critical. History is written by the victors. That's kind of weird. So the interesting thing about this game is that the interface, while it's the same for every race, it changes its look. So, like, the Klingon interface looks different from the 
Uh, looks different from the uh, Federation interface, which looks different from the Cardassian interface. So this is the map, and uh, this is the solar system we're in. Which planet is ours? One of these are ours. Oh, we've can. Oh, we've taken two of them at least. Three of them. So we live in a couple of these. And uh, right now, we're bringing in certain credits per turn. We're bringing in dilithium per turn. And we have two task forces, a scout and a colony ship. And zoom out. So it makes sense to keep the map here for now. Uh, events, that'll show events in the map. You can click on them. There really aren't any. Economic, you can see trade routes. There really aren't any right now. And overlay, you can add things to the overlay, like ship paths and range and all that stuff. It's kind of neat. Uh, and there's kind of an overlay here where you can have internal security. The interface is kind of weird. And then you have, this is the research. You can allocate things to, right now it's kind of even. I think the... I think the uh, Cardassians would want to research these two things a little bit more. So the numbers for these guys are going to go down a little bit. Um, but there's no one to, there's no diplomacy yet. And that's the main menu. So it's interesting. I don't know how. The manual didn't make it very clear how to get to the solar system view beyond this. So right now we're building trade goods. So we should probably build, uh, let's see. We build an assembly yard. <laughs> really? An in inquisition? Okay, so we're gonna build, we're bringing in food right now. Oh, we definitely have to build one of those. Oh, there's one. And we'll build. So we're building a, t a shadow. T we're, so we're going to build a shadow team and a science center to increase the numbers of our intelligence and research. So let's uh, select. Oh, let's select. Yeah, our scout. And then we're going to send him here. So we're going to scout the area around. You can only do that one at a time. So hopefully we'll find, let's see, there's nothing there. Oh, unknown. So we should have him. And you can't queue up orders. So we're going to scout the area immediately around us right now. Oh, there's a wormhole right there. Don't know if it's stable or not. Um, so we're going to scout the areas around us for any colonizable planets. Uh, and that's really all there is to do right now. And nothing happened because it's the first turn. So let's go. So let's look at this system. Barren. And a desert. It's got good energy. So let's not jump to colonizing it just yet. Um, one event. What, what was the event? Oh, okay. So yeah, you have to have a certain amount of population in a system to make trade routes. Um, but right now, we haven't met anybody yet. So another turn. An alien culture has been discovered. The Mazarians are pacifists, afraid to defend themselves. They will not even try to resist us. Interesting. Um, I remember these guys. So this is the sympathy bar. I was kind of talking about how races can be disposed for or against you right from the get-go. These guys are like totally neutral to us. So if, the, if they were up here, they'd love us. If they were down here, they'd hate us. So that's kind of an interesting thing, the sympathy bar. Um, so we met a new race. We should also build, build another scout.
I have two scouts going at once. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they have the build list and the ship building list separate. But they use the same queue. That's a little weird. Pillow can energy. The more we build, the more energy we're going to need. Kind of nifty. We can see the structures on each uh, system. So let's go. We have received diplomatic news. Offer a membership proposal. Uh, that's a little weird. This war has cost us too dearly. What war? Okay. Let it end. What? End what? And we will join you. So they want to join us for a, a okay. Treaty will be accepted. Uh, who lives here? I forget those, those guys. So can we make a trade route? I know. Okay, well, fine. We'll send you. No. All right. Can I type a number in there? Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Can't colonize any of those. An alien culture Whoa. has been discovered. The Antidians are too weak to survive space travel. We can crush them with ease. We, we have received diplomatic news. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, look at that. There we go. I want to colonize. I'll get there first, I guess. All right, so now let's, um, okay. Oh, someone's already living there. That's okay. All right, so no no uh, place to colonize just yet. So now let's see, can we do this trade route thing? Harry, do you want to help me uh, any advice on how to help the Cardassians conquer the universe without being the assholes they usually are known for? Nope, you just want to tell me. What <laughs> well, you just want to show me your tummy. Yeah, you don't want to rub that cat's tummy. He will crush you. Okay. Um.
Yeah, I, I know that. I know, I, I am. I'm friends with these guys. Why? I... Sure. Okay. Ah. Huh. All right. Well, let's build um have sci we have science centers. We have shadow teams. Oh. Oh. We can build here as well. That's nice. Huh. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, that's amazing. All right, so we need to build. Energy. I build that. And how are we doing here? We got any food, we got energy, we got credits. Horse labor farms. Yeah, we don't need to do an inquisition. I don't know what to build here. Build. Let's at least have. Start building at least one or two defensive ships, I guess. Okay. Uh, so, oh, we need to bring in more dilithium. Crap. Out. That way. Oh. Yeah, we like like the desert apparently. Are there any deserty planets around here that can Desert. All right, let's see if we can send this colony ship there. Um... Unknown task force. Well, let's check it out. Oh. Combat what? Uh. All right. Understood. Did they not do the fa did they not? Oh, okay, so they hailed. See, if you hail the other ship, then you don't have to do combat. Powering down weapons. This fight is over. An alien culture has been discovered. The Takarians are incredibly resilient and highly intelligent. Their physicists, in particular, could assist our researchers. Oh. An alien culture has been discovered. Greetings from the Ferengi Alliance. Oh, for God's sake! We are very pleased to meet your people and look forward to a long and profitable future of trade uh -huh. and commerce with you. Uh, 
Okay. Little desert planets. Okay. Haven. <laughs> Still can't make a trade route, huh? But I guess we can't I can't I guess we can only make trade routes with major races? I don't freaking know. Um well, let's let's find out. Oh. Uh propose Propose a thing of friendship so we can get Grage and trade. Okay. Send it. Oh, I try the trade thing. An alien culture has been ah! discovered. Greetings from the United Federation of Planets. We come in peace, uh -huh. in the hope of an informative exchange of cultural and scientific uh. knowledge. We look forward to diplomatic contact with your people. We have received diplomatic news. Treaty will be accepted. I guess they didn't like that other, uh... My colony ship. Colony ship! Where'd you go? There you are. Oh. Oh, okay. Um... Why can't you colonize? Well, terraform Select then. a planet. The terraform. That one. Nice desert planet. We like the desert. Hey. Where did we engage the Federation? Uh. Alright. Oh. Yes. Ooh, another nice desert planet. We should build another colony ship. I mean, uh, no. I mean, Scotch, yeah, we should build another. Uh, okay, I haven't been there. Oh. Okay. Apparently not. An alien culture has ah! been discovered. The Zakdorn have an incredible genius for strategy. We cannot afford to let our enemies gain their wisdom. Oh, wow. Okay. We have received diplomatic news. Okay. Uh, 
that one. Where's that Ferengi planet I can do it with? Ferengi. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Nope. Now you're letting me do it. You're just not letting me do it. It does you don't make sense, guys. You really just don't make sense, like at all. Like how we doing with the con? Is it? Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh wait. Where is that? All right. So you're terraforming. Okay. My two percent. So once that's terraformed, we can colonize it. That's cool. Can I go there? Is that Ferengi space? Is that what's going on? Oh, so let's see if I can do it this way. Uh, okay, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, yeah, I think this is a good place to stop for now. Uh, I'm not feeling it. It's because I'm not the Federation. So far, it's kind of boring. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.